After a woman and her daughter were attacked and stung by a swarm of bees at the Arroyo Colorado River, they were both sent straight to the hospital. CBS 4's Joel Flores explains how you can protect yourself from bee stings. They itch a lot, like it's in an uncontrollable itch, and you, you, you can't stop scratching. It was a regular Sunday for Ruthie Caracol and her daughter Faith while they were fishing with friends at the Arroyo Colorado River last week, when all of a sudden they noticed a man running away from a swarm of bees. It was just unreal, like a movie actually, and everybody was screaming. All the little kids were screaming. They were getting stung. And then all the moms just went to their own and did the best that they could to get away. Ruthie says she believes she was stung over 40 times and can't even count how many times her daughter got stung. She says for a moment, she thought it was the end. I realized that that day because it was scary for both of us because I almost didn't know what to do, honestly. They'll chase you for a good while. I've heard of them chasing you about a quarter of a mile. Eric says this time of year is when bees can become more agitated. He says one bee sting can be dangerous, but several can be deadly. Once they start stinging you and they get into their true attack mode, they will go into your nostrils and your mouth and your eyes before anything. And they try to suffocate you and they go to where you breathe. And they'll start stinging you up in the nose, on your tongue, and it can be very ugly. It's, it's mo mostly because you give off a scent. I've been with the fire department for approximately 10 years and on average I respond to anywhere between 10 to 15 calls per year involving bee attacks. Brian Hathorne, a lieutenant paramedic with the Wessico Fire Department, says if you find yourself stung by bees, it's best to remove the stingers and its venom as quick as possible. You want to try to avoid uh, pulling them out with your fingers or tweezers. You want to use a, a credit card or even your driver's license to, to scrape away. It's not something you want to go through again. Um, I'm just glad that we got through it. Those don't sting. In Weslaco, Joel Flores, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com. Eric Torres has been a beekeeper for two years and says he recommends anyone near Sorma Bees run away quickly and seek shelter inside a building, car, or even underwater. Also, remove your pets and livestock immediately from a bee-infested area. He added that it's never a good idea to try and remove a beehive yourself. He says always seek professional help.